Welcome to Vitcher Academy. This video series was created to provide an introduction to the many devices offered in the Vitcher One ecosystem. In this video, we'll be exploring the Vitcher Neckband, a must-have companion for the Vitcher One XR glasses. The Vitcher Neckband is, in a nutshell, an Android powered device that has been designed to be light enough to wear around your neck with the power to provide a remarkable and one of a kind entertainment experience anywhere you go. With an Android based operating system running the hardware, you can download virtually any app available via the Google Play Store too. Download and install streaming apps like Hulu, Netflix, Max, or stream your favorite games with apps like Moonlight, PS Play, or XBX Play. Ultimately, the Vitcher One XR glasses and neckband combo give you the ability to turn this into this anywhere you go. Let's find out what's inside. When you first open the box, you'll find the Vitcher neckband folded up. Let's put that aside for now and take a look at some of the other things in the box. When you begin to unpack the included accessories, you'll find the quick start and safety guides. Also included is a Vitcher branded pouch for the neckband. Use this to store or travel with the neckband. We've also included a USB-C cable that you can use to charge the neckband or to connect it to a computer and transfer files. Keep in mind though that this cable is only for charging and for transferring data files like media onto the neckband's onboard storage. If you ordered the neckband charging case that features an internal battery to charge the neckband while it's stored, don't forget to remove the small plastic cover from the magnetic contact port. The attached cable on the neckband plugs directly to the Vitcher One XR glasses magnetically. Let's start by resting the neckband around our neck, connecting the Vitcher One XR glasses via the magnetic pogo plug and powering on the neckband. To power on the neckband, press and hold the power button until you feel a long buzz. Shortly thereafter, you'll see the Vitcher logo appear on the XR Glasses display. Our first step is to select our default system language. Remember, to control the interface, use the D-pad on the neckband to navigate up, down, left, and right. Then press the large button inside the D-pad ring to confirm your option. When starting up the neckband for the first time, you will be presented with an introductory video that walks you through some of the key features of the neckband. Let's watch that video together. Welcome to Vitcher One Next Generation XR Glasses. In this tutorial, we'll show you how to use Vitcher One to its full potential. Well done, you've completed the tutorial. Finish setting up and you'll be ready to get started. Now we can continue with the setup process. You have the option to select the neckband's device name. This is the name your neckband will broadcast to other devices. For example, it's the name that will appear on your wireless router identifying this device. You can select from either of the names already presented or give the neckband your own name. Don't worry. If you make a mistake or change your mind, you can edit this later. Next, you should hop on and connect to a trusted wireless network. If your network name is hidden, you can skip this step for now and manually enter your SSID in the system preferences. On this screen, you're presented with Vitcher's Terms of Service and Privacy Policy Agreements. Read through these, then move on to the next page. This screen offers the chance to help improve the quality of future updates by sending anonymous data back to the Vitcher team. Once you've made your selection, you will now be presented with the home screen. Let's explore the dashboard and all the options available to us. At the top of the screen, you'll notice a floating menu with tabs labeled Home, Apps, and Store. We are currently on the home screen. Think of the home screen as a quick launch dashboard where you can customize the list of your most frequently used apps. For example, I can click the plus square here and add more of my favorite apps. Also visible on this screen are trending and recommended videos available on YouTube. You can customize these listings on your own later. Now let's move to the apps page. Here you will find a list of all the apps that are currently installed onto the neckband. 
The store page is Vitcher's App Store, which lists some apps that can be downloaded right away. Now, I'm sure you're already wondering, where's the Google Play Store? Don't worry, we'll get to that in a bit. Before we do, let's keep exploring the user interface and familiarize ourselves with some important settings. Press the Settings button on the neckband to launch the Settings menu. If you are already familiar with the interface on a device like Google Chromecast or the NVIDIA Shield TV, this will look familiar to you. At a glance, you'll see the battery percentage, any connected Bluetooth devices, the wireless network that you are currently connected to, the head gaze navigation toggle, ambient mode preferences, device preferences, apps, and an option to send feedback to the Vitcher team. Let's navigate to and open Device Preferences. Here, you'll find even more detailed information and settings for the neckband. If we launch the About submenu, you'll find very specific information about the neckband. This is helpful information to have on hand in the event that you do need to reach out to Happy Customer at Vitcher.us for technical support. It's under this menu where you'll find the option to restart the neckband, reset the neckband to like factory condition, and manually check for system updates. Let's do that now. Pressing the back button on the neckband takes you back one level of the menu tree. Now we're back in device preferences. Let's explore storage. The Vitcher One neckband is equipped with 128 gigabytes of shared storage. Out of the box, you have about 117 gigabytes of available space. And it's on this menu where you can see a breakdown of what's taking up space. Remember, those 128 gigabytes are shared with the neckband's Android operating system. Let's go back to device preferences. This USB host toggle is a feature that sets the neckband as the host device so that you can connect peripherals like a wired gamepad, external storage device, or other USB-C device. Now, let's customize the neckband a bit by changing how the D-pad behaves. Similarly to how you can change the button mapping on your gamepad for your favorite game on your favorite console, here you will be presented with several different command layouts for the D-pad to help make your experience more personal to you. Be sure to play around with these options to find the configuration that feels most natural to you. Pin mode will take advantage of our 3 DOF sensor and pin the display in virtual space so that if you turn your head, for example, the screen will stay locked where you placed it. Quiet mode is a feature that limits the fan speed. However, this can cause the temperatures of the neckband to increase. This is a great feature for streaming a movie while you're in a quiet area so that the fan noise doesn't distract anyone else. However, if you are running more intensive tasks like playing a game, you might want to turn off quiet mode to keep the neckband cool. These other options are pretty straightforward, and I'll leave it to you to explore those on your own. Now, let's head back to the main settings menu and play with ambient mode. This feature, exclusive to the Vitra neckband, will shrink the display to a corner of your view so that you can pay attention to the world around you. This menu option lets you customize how ambient mode behaves. For example, I might want the screen to only shrink to a medium size and position itself on the top left corner of my view. Now, when I give two quick consecutive presses of the settings button on the neckband, the display will shrink to the position I configured. Another two quick presses of the settings button, and I'm back to full screen. Head gaze navigation was reviewed in the tutorial video, but let's give it a quick overview. Two quick consecutive presses of the home button on the neckband will activate head gaze control. This means you can move your head towards the selection you want. Then, while the cursor is over your selection, press the confirm button on the neckband to launch the selection. This is especially useful for some apps like Netflix. To deactivate head gaze control, simply press the home button twice in a row or head to settings and toggle it off. And remember, the Vitcher neckband is equipped with Bluetooth so you can connect virtually any input device, like a wireless keyboard and mouse or your favorite gamepad controller.
Another important feature to review is the neckband's zoom function. This allows you to push the display out or closer depending on your preference. To adjust the zoom, head to Settings, Device Preferences, Display and Sound, Zoom and Position. As you can see, as I zoom out the screen, it pushes it farther away. I can then zoom back in. You can make other adjustments as well, and I'll let you explore those on your own. Now remember, at this time, these settings are not stored on the XR glasses. As a result, these settings won't carry over to other devices that you might use the Vitra One XR glasses with. All right, now that we've familiarized ourselves with navigating on the Vitra neckband, let's get to downloading some apps. The first set of apps you're going to want to download are Google services, which include apps like Google Play, Google Assistant, and YouTube. Now, there are several sources from which you can download Google services, but for the purposes of this video, we'll be showing you a method that has been successfully performed by many of our Vitcher neckband users. First, let's navigate to the Apps page. Then, launch the web browser app called TV Bro. You have the option to select a search engine. In my case, I'll stick with Google. Next, select the bookmark called G Apps TV. Click on the large download button. The menu bar for TV Bro should automatically appear. When it does, click on the icon that looks like a downward pointing arrow. This is the downloads section of this app. You'll see that the gapps.apk has been downloaded. Go ahead and click on that to launch the installer. If you're warned and prompted to grant TV Bro permissions, please do so. Click install on this next prompt asking you if you want to install this application. Then click open. This next window displays the available Google apps that will be downloaded. We recommend that you make sure they're all checked, and then click the Install button. Once the installation is complete, press the Home button on the neckband. Now, press the Settings button on the neckband and navigate to Accounts and Sign In. Follow the steps that allow you to sign into your Google account. This will then use your Google account to sign into all the other Google apps that you've just installed, like YouTube. Once you've signed in, navigate to the Apps page and launch the Google Play Store app. This is where you can start downloading and installing your favorite apps. Or head to the Store page and begin installing some of the common apps we think you'll most enjoy. And remember, once you've installed your most commonly used apps, you can add them to the Home page to access them more quickly. Speaking of favorite apps, we know you are eager to start streaming those AAA game titles from your best gaming console. To stream your games from either your PlayStation or Xbox, we recommend the apps created by developer Stream Game Dev, XBX Play, and PS Play. Both of these apps now come free to use and install via the Store tab on the neckband. Just make sure that you're running the latest update available for the neckband operating system. And of course, we can't forget our custom media player, simply called 3D Player. This comes pre-installed and automatically supports SBS, or side-by-side -side 3D content. When you launch the app, you first see a list of demo videos that we've pre-loaded, including a video clip in 3D. Now remember, neither the Vitra One XR glasses nor the Vitra neckband convert standard content into 3D you need to upload media that is already configured in SBS or side-by-side -side formats. One of the great things about our custom player is that it detects 3D content and automatically switches the Vitter XR glasses into 3D mode without any extra steps. Back to the 3D player app, the media catalog page is simply a display of the internal folders for the neckband. For example, if I plug my neckband into my computer using the USB-C cable provided, the neckband will behave like a typical external device or mobile phone. I can then drag and drop content straight to the neckband's onboard storage. When I unplug the neckband from my computer and relaunch the 3D Player app, I should immediately see the new media that I just transferred over. Coincidentally, one of the files I moved isn't in a compatible format. To delete files, simply long press the Confirm button on the neckband to see a pop-up menu with available options. Now I'm going to play one of the files I uploaded. It looks like the aspect ratio is off. No worries though, our app has built-in options to make playback adjustments. 
In this case, I need to adjust the aspect ratio by pressing up on the D-pad and navigating over to the screen ratio menu. And there you go, all fixed. If we navigate back to the 3D player's dashboard, the USB disk tab gives you a view of all the directories found on an external USB storage device. Remember that USB host setting we reviewed earlier? This is what becomes available to you when you set the neckband as a USB host and then plug in an external storage device, like a USB-C flash drive. And now available on Android and iOS is our Vitter companion app, which allows you to remotely control the neckband. Via the app, you have the option to navigate the neckband OS with a virtual D-pad or by touch. You can also input information and text using the virtual keyboard right on your phone. This app is available now for free on the Google and Apple app stores. And with that, we wrap up our in-depth walkthrough of the Vitter neckband. When you're ready to pack it up, simply long press the power button on the neckband until you feel a short buzz and you see shutting down displayed. To charge the neckband, simply plug a USB charger directly into the USB-C port found on the neckband. You'll see a small LED light illuminate to indicate that it's receiving a charge. If you ordered early or upgraded to the charging case, simply place the neckband back into its case and connect the pogo plug like so. The LED indicators on the case will light up and indicate how much power is left on the case's battery. Now, both the Vitra One XR glasses and the Vitra neckband are safely stored in their cases. In our next video, we'll be reviewing the Vitra Mobile Dock and family of adapters that help you create an XR experience with devices like the Nintendo Switch or virtually any other HDMI capable device. Remember, for answers to frequently asked questions, feel free to visit our FAQ page. Or for more comprehensive guides, instructions, and how-to articles, visit academy.vitcher.com and learn more about how to use your new Vitcher devices.